Hi guys, you are welcome to Halogenous Ideas. I want to quickly show you the best way to render Markdown in React. You'll be able to render tables, bullet points, pictures and all that easily using this method I want to show you. Um, all we have to do is in three steps. The three steps are highlighted over here, so let's just get into it. I believe you have your project ready and when you where you want to use um, what we want to learn in this tutorial. So I'll just cut the chase and we go directly into what we have to do. So I have my React project over here that is running. Then let me start the React project. npm run dev so i'll copy this link and i'll go to my brave browser or any browser at all so this is exactly what is running at the moment so you can see this is exactly what is running at the moment this is markdown code so this markdown code i have like um five others that we are going to be using to test what we want to learn in this tutorial at the moment so if you come under public markdowns you have all this other markdown code you can see the ones that you have to tabulate and the ones that um, you have to build in some text and it even has emojis as well so you have all these other ones and um, let's just get into it so to render the contents properly um, I, what I'm doing is I'm using this fetch markdown so this fetch markdown basically we query my public folder it will go into the markdowns directory then it will get um, 1.md, 2.md, whatever I set as the value of the index over here. So that is just what is happening over here. Um, don't worry when you are, when you are, by the time you are watching this tutorial you will see all these files in um, the repository where you have the guide. So just um, follow along. Now the next thing we want to do is to um, copy this one then you come to your terminal, you can close the terminal, close this. you can just close the terminal, then you install it, just paste like this. But I have this installed already on my end, so I'll just move on to the next one. So you want to create markdown renderer.gsx. So just copy this and um, come here. I'll be creating mine in the SRC directory. So come here and paste this. So after pasting it, I'll just bring in the code for the markdown render itself so paste it and you save it so this is the code over here it's just a, a lot of a lot of stuff but you don't really, you really have to know this in depth what you have to know is just how to use it you have your markdown code plug it into this particular component and you are good to go so how do you plug your markdown code into this component so you come here and um, we go we move on to step three now come and um, import the markdown renderer copy bring it to app.js then after bringing it into just bring it into the function where you're going to be calling the markdown renderer from so after doing that the next thing you want to do is to bring this one you just copy it come here then paste it so instead of saying markdown text since content is what we are rendering so just say content okay then you save it then you save it so after saving it now i think the three steps are complete if you check what you have and you reload it okay my server is down npm run dev so just give it some time to load let's give it some time to load okay exactly exactly so you see the way it is displaying the markdown text now you can see the way it is displaying the markdown text way better than what um, it used to have so it is displaying this markdown text properly now okay so um, let's try other markdown uh, codes that i have in that particular document if you come under public i have um, the one that is being displayed now is this one you can see all right here's quantum computing explaining like you're a five-year-old then you have the line if you come here no if you come here you can see here's quantum computing even bold in the text as, uh, explained like you are five years old so let's move on to the next one if you come here you go to the next one which is the 2.md you see exactly what we have here here's a clear comparison of rest versus graphql in table format so come here and let us change this use state to two and we save it and after saving it you come here and you see what you have okay you see what you have over here here's a clear comparison of rest versus graphql and you see the way it tabulates everything if you come you see the markdown code itself you see the markdown code itself 
but over here it tabulates everything because of the way the code itself is structured so come here and um, you see even the emoji displays properly so let's move on to the third one if you go to the third one you see um, okay we are okay Okay, so just OOP, Markdown to explain what o OOP is and all that. So you see all this, you even have Python code inside this one. So come to app.js and um, set this to 3 and save it. Then come here, you can see. You can see what we have. I'll explain the four core OOP, whatsoever, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. So you can see encap encapsulation. You can even see the... Um, the H1, uh, the bigger text, and you can see the smaller text. If you come under Markdown, you will see that this one has only one hash. One, um, what do they call this symbol? I can't remember, please. So you can see one um, pound and, um, is that pound? I don't know. Then, okay, there is no one where they used to, but you just get the gist now. You get the gist now. So that is, that is, that is it. That is it. And you can see another table down here. You can see another table down here. So let's move on to the next one. We have this fourth one over here. Um, so you want a bash script to back up your documents folder. Yeah, so here is a simple but solid script for you. So you, it, this is a bash script being written over here. Come back here, change this to four and save it. And if you come back here, you can see, you can see. So backupdocument.sh, you see the code, you see everything, everything is displayed properly. So let's check the last one. So if you come to the fifth one, you can see um, here is a basic but complete Docker file for Python Django app. So let's just quickly check it out. If you come here and, um, okay, I've not changed it. App.js, set this one to five and save it after saving it to come back here. you can see simple docker file for django so this is this is it basically this is everything this is everything how um, it is going to be displayed so like i said everything you have to do can be highlighted in three steps the first thing you want to do is to just install this in your react project then you create a markdown renderer the gsx file copy this code and put it inside then after putting it inside in your color function where you are supposed to your color component where you are supposed to render the markdown text you just bring this into it you import your markdown renderer make sure your path is correct you import your markdown renderer then you just um the markdown text you you do whatever is the variable that's supposed to render the text just bring the variable here dot replace then you put all this other code there and um, everything is going to be to be uh, coming out um, nice and good so thank you very much um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you get um, updates when we drop other amazing tutorials like this thank you very much i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now